am back today with my monthly October favorites and I am going to tell you right now, I apologize for the slacking of the videos. This month like literally flew by faster than any other month this year so far. It's been insane. Let's get into this um, super short October favorites. If it wasn't for my rambling, this video would probably be three minutes long. Anyways, I did do some shopping today. I went to uh, Ross, Marshalls, and Ulta. Oh my god. I'll probably be doing a haul for you guys. I don't know. Anyways, I am going to start off with this product because I mentioned this in my last month favorites, but in case you did not watch my September favorites, I wanted to throw this in here again. Reason being is because now that I've been using this for about a month, if not a little more, I've actually seen the results like more now, like the turnout of it. Cause I had only been using it, I believe like two, two and a half weeks when I did it last month. So I've actually been using this probably for about a month and a half now and it's um, about halfway gone. I will do a full review. I am going to do a full review for you guys on this because you need to know about this and I'm going to do my homework on it so that I know I tell you the right information on it. But this has definitely made my favorites again. It is some amazing stuff. So if you guys see a coupon for this coming up here soon, save it because you're going to want to run out and grab that. Um, oh, sorry, I didn't even tell you what it was. Hello, I haven't filmed in like a week and a half. A week? A week and a half. This was the L'Oreal <laughs> Youth Code Texture Perfector. Um, there is a lotion, but I only bought this and I actually bought in the haul. I bought some new stuff for my face. The other product I have here is the Healthy Sexy Hair Soy Argon Oil. And this is a small one that um, was given to me as a sample at Ulta. And... I actually have this in like the goodies drawer over there that I do the mystery bags for you guys. And when I was leaving, I was trying to pack like travel size things for my trips. So I didn't have like a whole bunch of things. Well, I found this and I took it with me. And two months ago, maybe I think I did the hairspray in my favorites. Awesome. Same color. It's like the, what is it called? The sexy hair. It's just the hairspray, the long one. I uh, picked it up at Ross for like 10 bucks. Well, now that I tried their little oil, it works and you need like pea size of this and I have pretty long hair and this has been working really good for me as well. Moving on next here. Um, this is I believe it's the Real Technique Beauty something Miracle Blender. Oh lord I can't remember. But I did a full review for you guys and I love this thing. It's amazing. I've been doing I did my concealer with it. I've been using it wet and forget to mute my phone when I'm recording. So yes, I've been using this to apply my concealer. I've been loving it. It's got that flat side. If you guys care to see the full review on it, I will link it down below. If I forget, it's about five videos, six videos behind. The other item here is this Clinique Bottom Lash Mascara. This has been out forever. I've seen it. I've been tempted. I've walked by it and I've almost grabbed it so many times. And then I was like, Maria, you don't need it. Well, when I was out in New York, um, the ladies that were doing our makeup was talking about how amazing this stuff was and how good it was for your lashes. Well, they were right. I've been missing out. I think it's like $10, $8, something like that. But it's this itty bitty mascara by Clinique and the wand on it is like a baby like doll wand. It is so adorable. Look how tiny that is. In case you guys haven't seen it, I'm sure you all have because it's been out forever. It does really good for the bottom lashes and um, it fills them in really good. It lengthens them. I like it and it's perfect because you know sometimes your brush will hit the bottom of that eye there and it doesn't do it with this one so I really really like it. The next product I have here and I honestly was kind of skeptical about it and I thought I would be returning it because um, I've had kind of bad experiences with um, any um, concealers or creams or foundations by MAC but I really wanted this because it looks so pretty in the packaging and I hauled this from my New York haul and this is the Pro Concealer and Corrector Palette in Medium. I believe it was $40. Sounds like a lot um, but it's just so cute and sleek and I was like okay I'm gonna try if I don't like it I'll take it back. Oh my god, I absolutely love this thing. I've been using it every single day. Um, if I have any redness that I want to cover up, if I want to brighten my eyes, and I honestly thought that because it was a little thick cream, it wasn't like buttery creamy, it's just like a reg regular type of concealer cream, I thought it would crease underneath my eyes, so at first I didn't use it under my eyes, I just used it like around my nose or anywhere that I had any redness going on, but I finally got brave enough and I used it underneath my eyes, 
and it did not crease. And other MAC ones have creased on me, concealers and foundations and all that settles in my creases and it makes me look older than I am. But yes, and I love it because it's got your two brighteners, it's got your yellow one, then it's got like that peachy pink one I want to say and then you got your different colors here I mix these two up and they they uh, match my skin tone of course if I was tan I could probably mix these here or that one that one absolutely love this palette and it's a must and I think $40 is a bit high but it works good the other thing I have here is this skincare thing and I have mentioned the Neutrogena it's an it's an astringent and it's a Neutrogena one and we use it for our face. Well, that that other one by Neutrogena, I could only use it like once every few days because the next day I would wake up and my whole face would be extremely extremely dry, especially like from here down, because obviously your forehead is um got tougher skin than like down here. So when I use that, it'd be a little too too harsh. My husband can use it on his face every day all day because he's got very oily skin I have just combo skin around my t-zone area well I came across this when I was in New York with Jen when I was in the airplane I don't know what it was but when we got off my face broke the hell out and that was the last thing I needed when I was gonna be you know on camera for TV I was freaking out so Jennifer had some of this and she goes put this on your face and I put some on a Q-tip and I'm telling you right now, it will burn. It burns like hell if you have anything that's open because I sat there and picked and I was doing things to it, trying to get rid of them because I was like, my face can't look like this. No, no, no. So it burned like hell, but I mean, literally I was like ah, freaking out and Jennifer was laughing. But um, I put this on my face with a Q-tip and the next day I woke up and like whatever funk was going on with my face was done like completely done it does smell stronger than the Neutrogena one this is the clean and clear deep cleaning astringent 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 ooh, I can't talk it uh, treats and helps prevent pimples and I'm sure that you guys have seen this I picked this up at Target for I believe $3.99 or something like that and the smell of it is pretty strong but a little goes a long way I've been using this every day only at night not in the morning at night before I put this on, I've been putting this on a cotton ball and rubbing it all over my face. And ladies, my face is doing so good with these two things right here. Amazing. Like I said, if it wasn't for my rambling, I have these brushes here. I also hauled these for you guys in my New York haul. I tested these out with makeup and I've washed them so now I can tell you how good they really are. So it comes in this here, and I totally forgot to actually put the link, I believe, in um, one of the videos I mentioned them. It's the Pop Art, I believe, and they look like this. They're like a whole bunch of different colors, and I believe there's 10 brushes, and you have like an angle, a powder, some flat ones, an uh, angle, little eye one, like a eyeliner, a spoolie, a fluffy, and just like an angled um, shadow brush, I think. I don't think there's names on the brushes. I believe I paid $20 for them. They are amazing. I am in love with these. They are soft. They don't shed at all when you're applying your makeup. And, oopsie, they did not shed at all whatsoever when I washed them. And I actually had to be very rough on them when I washed them because I did use these for Halloween. So I had red and I had black and I had cream from the palettes from the Halloween stuff and not one little hair came out of these and they look very good after I wash them so these brushes here are great I would think that for somebody that's starting off or just wants something that's affordable I believe they're $25 when they're not on sale I think I got them for about 20 with the shipping yes it was about $20 for the brushes and the shipping but I absolutely love these brushes it's a BH cosmetic pop color something so yeah that's pretty much it not too many new things because I've been trying to avoid the store but that didn't work today because I hit up Ulta next thing you know IMAX is going to be right around the corner I will be at IMAX literally ladies buy your tickets now because they will sell out put them on your Christmas list on your Thanksgiving list your birthday list but I'm telling you do not wait till January to get those tickets because last year I got stuck without tickets and thankfully somebody saved my life online uh because lizzie from what will lizzie do she told somebody that i needed tickets and they were like yo i got some tickets enough rambling Mwah! love you guys bye